Triple down. Triple down. What is up everybody? It is your boy Tay Money13. Welcome to the YouTube show. Here today to talk about Iron Banner and PvP as a whole. Iron Banner right now is currently underway and I am enjoying every second of it. I hope everybody else is enjoying their Iron Banner. I hope everybody had a safe patch to the lighthouse this weekend. And I hope everybody had a safe passage to the lighthouse this weekend. And let's talk about these rewards for Iron Banner because it is a big improvement on last month. Last month, you did not get anything that was remotely good as far as rewards go. Um, it wasn't dropping enough. Um, your time and effort was not properly rewarded. And now, I can honestly say my time and effort has been rewarded for Iron Banner. I received a 305 chess piece as a random drop. And upon reaching rank 3, I was properly rewarded with a 310 Amakara scale artifact, which I needed because mine was sitting at about 305. And this helped boost me up. And as soon as I can get the touch of malice, I'll probably be like a 312 or 314, something like that. And I can do the heart rate properly. But that's PvE. Let's get back to the PvP. So, Quiver is back. I miss Quiver for the longest time. Quiver has just been absent from my arsenal. I feel like it was a great addition to the arsenal for uh, the glitch last month. Whoever found it. I have a conspiracy theory saying that Bungie planted the glitch in because they knew the Trials of Osiris didn't have a drop rate high enough to satisfy the hardcore PvP audience who actually makes it to the lighthouse. But that's a different topic for a different video. But it's good to have it back. I'm glad to see people starting to use hand cannons. I was playing, I started seeing people use some hand cannons um, other than the high rate of fire pulse rifles. Hopefully, like, hand cannons can get another buff in the near future. Not nothing drastic. Uh, maybe just something to help out, uh, like, bring it back into the fold. Because I feel like they're kind of on the back burner right now as far as weapons to use. They're still pretty good to use. Like, they're not, their damage is not really affected as much that you can still like three shot people with your ace of spades your uh, your lunas your hawk moons um but i feel like high rate of fire pulse rifles are the way to go i mean even auto rifles i feel like auto rifles still need that little eh just to get them back to where they used to be um as far as a, a viable weapon because i think they're good now but i, st I still think there's, there's something missing in the auto rifles that will bring them back into the fold to make them more of a usable gun um, but if you, if you want to use an auto rifle and the uh, iron banner and trials, then I suggest use like a high rate of fire auto rifle. Um, first off, you can miss more. Second of all, uh, it's going to like throw people way the fuck off when they're getting hit. They won't be able to zero in on you unless they have a red death. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So if you guys like what you saw, they like rate and subscribe i hope you guys enjoyed this video uh i got a new podcast coming out though look before, before i even end the video i got a new podcast i'm gonna be trying to do called the crucible wing i'm trying to get some people in here with me throw a few ideas around talk about crucible once a week our week in crucible probably every wednesday on arms day i think that's the proper day to do it because that's where most people receive their pvp arms from Unless they're going to their uh, different vendors for their specific faction, whether it be Dead Orbit, New Monarchy, or uh, Future War Cult. Um, as far as exotics to use in PvP, uh, I think I'm going to be doing a video coming up this Saturday. I want to say before I head to Atlanta for Survivor Series, I'm going to be doing a video talking about the Bully and Gemini, why I believe it's one of the most underused guns in Destiny PvP. Uh, that gun's an absolute monster in PvP. It's a very good exotic scout rifle. It's a good scout rifle in general. It, that gun is... It, it, it just tears it up. I'll tell you in the video. But with that being said, guys, thank you for watching. Have a nice day. Enjoy your Iron Banner. Enjoy your safe patch to the lighthouse. And as always, keep it real. Keep it 100. Peace.